anyone finish, please send it to me to copy and paste it on the system. Even if you have finished it, Maria, you can send it to me to check it if it is applicable with the system or not. Uh, and you ask the answer anytime, okay? Cool. <clears throat> Just I need um, a headline, one, headline two, and the description. <clears throat> so I need to check your creativity, how creative you are. <laughs> Um, could you go back to the to the criteria page, please? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> yeah. Thank you. Okay. Can I switch to uh, the system to face? Yeah, sure. Yeah, thank you. So Maria, let me check yeah. what you're ready to me. I wanted to ask a question as well, but I forgot to do that. Anyway. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Uh, remember, this is the first headline. There's just a seminar in Qatar. And the second headline. Okay. So, before continuing, Maria, what's wrong with these two headlines? What's wrong? Before continuing anything. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Can you see this number? Yeah. So you have here missing six characters plus 12. So you have about 18 missing characters. So okay. you can maximize. Oh, okay. Yeah, so try, mm -hmm. yeah, so try to add anything beside to have the maximum number of characters. For example, you can click on dash, uh, Maria company, for example, mm -hmm. okay? So now it's exceeded. So company, digital seminar in Qatar. Um, maybe we have uh, blah, blah, blah. We have only six characters. Um, we can add Doha, but it's not searchable. It's not appealing for us. Um, we can say that uh, modern digital seminar, oops, okay. We have modern digital seminar. We can replace N with dash, like this one, see? So try to maximize the number of characters that you are using. Uh, and here is 
the landing page, www.preparation.info. Okay, this is a URL, copy and paste, exactly. And the description, we have about 80 characters on the description. Flexible classes for all, yes, here, description, okay. The same, you can add more keywords and more characters. Um, call now, okay. You know, sometimes, sometimes, a Google system refused to add some type of phone numbers or something like that uh, on the keyword, but nowadays I see that a lot of ads, including the phone number, especially on the header, the title of the ad, sometimes can be run, some others can be forbidden from the system. This is just for your information, Maria, because you know, sometimes you can add a call to actual like phone number, landline, hotline, mobile number, cutter, and so on. So in this situation, just try to check if the system will not decline your ad or not, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, flexible class, okay, who else? Who finished? Mm -hmm. I'm done, but I needed that sheet, but I'll just show you what I have so far. Yeah, sure. Maria, do you have any other um, catchy keyword or add value information on the description? Do you have any discount, any offer, any accreditation? Because, you know, flexible class is very, very good for you as a USP in a selling proposition. Here is the call to action. Yes, it's a very good point. You already have call to action. You have unique selling proposition. So can you have anything else that you can? Can you ask me a question like this one, the last one? For example, uh, do you have any unique value proposition again? Can you differentiate yourself? Why I'm going to click? It? Why I'm going to click on your ad and I will not go to your competitor? For example. Um. I could use like looking for value for money classes, but I don't know, maybe it's too big now. Yeah, yeah, of course. You can replace it with another one, Maria. Oh. This is a guideline why you are writing an ad copy. So please try to be sticky with these points because it's very important. It's about creativity. Even if you have just one keyword under every point of these mentioned points. For example, about ask a question, I can add something else here. You can differentiate yourself by adding just keyword, which is 20 years in the market, and so on. So try to be sticky as much as you can with these points. Uh, let's have a look about Asia. Yes, Maria, uh, this is another type, okay. But maybe it's too big now. I don't know, to be honest. Maybe it's exceed the... No, 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 no. it's okay. We have... Ah. Yes. Just two characters. It's okay. We can like this one. Okay. Plus now, now we can delete at. Okay. Flexible classes for all. Dash. Looking for value for money classes. Okay. This is a question. Call us this call to action. So you have how many including strong competing call to action. There's some more already applied. Promote a unique value proposition. Okay, differentiate yourself. Why? How? How we can differentiate yourself, Maria, by having online classes? Maybe this can be a differentiate mm -hmm. yourself. Uh, you have mm -hmm. a modern. You have a modern digital um, seminar. Can you differentiate yourself? You have a location which is Qatar. And you have online courses, okay, uh, ask a question, okay, you already asked the question. So the main, the main points is number one, two, three, four, and eight or nine. So these are the main points that I need you to, to be more for precise about it. The first four points and the last one. And again, mm -hmm. my, and again, my beautiful ladies, this is the creativity of the online marketeer. This is going to differentiate between you and the, any other competitor in the market because as we mentioned here, the customer see that. He can see three or four ads. Why I got to click on the second one 
which already typed by Asya, and they would ignore or the first one which is typed by Sanita, for example, or Maria. So this is a creativity of the online market here. Let's go back to the system and check with Asia International Digital Marketing Course 2018. Exactly. Google like the numbers. Here we go. Uh, we have see, 13 characters. We can okay. First we're gonna to write down the other here. So we can take the first digital course, uh, blah, blah, blah. So we need to, to uh, shift some keywords from the headline one to the other one. Tradition marketing course, maybe we can think. So, uh, international digital marketing. Maybe we can find something like that. Also, okay, internet is from Martin. National Digital Martin. So, Asia, what can I do? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we can, uh, but if I type it like this, in, so you know, sometimes they are timing like this. International INTL, that's right. Um, it's like INTL, this is abbreviation, that's right, of international. Yeah. But actually, it will not be understandable for some of the searchers. Am I right, Maria and Sanita? Maybe if I type it like that, it will not be un understandable for No, them. it won't be very clear here. It won't be very clear. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so let's have another look about okay. international digital marketing. So if we do it as. Um, Maybe online, maybe online marketing is working. Um, course, no, it's not, not appealing for me. International, digital. Maybe you can delete this one. Course, but this other headline. Okay, uh, maybe you can international. Online marketing, international. Mm. How we can write it, my ladies? Uh, I don't know how we can write the other red line because you know the customer going to see it like that. International online marketing slash course twenty in Moscow. There's something wrong with the pure course, maybe. Can delete it. Um, it will be like that. A new course. New course. In Muscat. So international online marketing. New course in Muscat. Is it fine? But you know, 2018 is not relevant to the ad. So how can we re-optimize the sentence by using these keywords? So what about, okay, Digital Martin course. 2018, um, international standards now in Muscat. International standards in Muscat. International um, certificate. Can we can we add certification maybe? Um, uh, certification. I don't know how we can re-optimize the second headline. Okay, it's not international anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because we added musket, you know. Uh, it's uh, a very uh, long word, anyway. So how we can optimize it? Because you know, international. Okay, otherwise we can add it on the description. 
you can add on the description saying that and where you know what do you think asia yeah sure okay mm -hmm. international international um, program mascot or dash mascot I'm going to type this simple dash. Um, how you can type it as here from the keyboard? Again? Yeah, how we can type the simple, the straight um, arrow, which you already mentioned before, this one, this one. How we can type it on the keyboard? This number three or um, which button on the keyboard? I'm searching about it on my keyboard. I didn't find it. Which one? Which one? Um, it's H. I think it's shift. F. Shift H. Uh, no, it's for me. It's it's in another. It's in its own keyboard. No, it's not like that. It's not like that. Okay, maybe you can use dash anything. Okay. So what about the description? Um, Maybe now it will be more familiar. This is Martin Course 2018 International Program Dash Mascot. You already have the location, you have a proposition, you have um, appreciate yourself, uh, maybe because you have international certificates. Uh, let's go to the description, maybe you can find any other things. Description here. Wow. Wow. You put me into troubles, Asia. <laughs> you put me into troubles. So I need to re optimize it. We have over about 30 characters. Okay. So now, ladies, let's, um, let's help Asia <laughs> to re optimize the description. And Asia, please help us to re optimize it again. Which uh, keywords that we can neglect or we can consider as the negative keywords? I just sent you another one. Could you try? Yeah, sure. That's another one. Okay. We already saved about eight characters. That's fine. We have about 20 characters. We can use. Yes, Sanita, uh, just a minute. I need to optimize it. Um, is, that, is that your uh, your ad, Anita, which you already sent now, or what is this? Yeah, yeah, the headline okay. one and two. Okay, but so now we are trying to re-optimize because we have about uh, over budget, about 20 characters mm -hmm. or 20 characters. So we need to just um, delete some keywords here. Which one I can delete from this keyword? I think an exclusive insight to the world of digital marketing and more. This one is very appealing. Okay. I uh, sent another one. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to fit. Okay, let's try. Coffee. Maria, you are with us or are you already asleep? Yes. No, I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> okay. All right. That's another one. Yeah, it's more optimized. Very good. An exclusive insight to the world of digital marketing. Yes, very good get 20 percent actually um can we re-optimize get 20 percent when registering online hmm. maybe you can use buy something you know grammatically you know by registering online is it working now and we have uh, mm, an exclusive insight to the world of digital marketing get 20% but what is 20% 20% of what maybe get 20% discount um, Uh, 
and exclusive insight to the world of digital marketing get 20% notes. can we remove the word world if we just write an exclusive insight to digital marketing maybe uh, to digital marketing but what what type of digital marketing because i think asia is talking about the insights of the digital marketing world to get more insights about it because if i did it like that oh sorry this count for example here sorry this count okay if i need to delete it an exclusive insight to own this like this digital one. marketing digital marketing mm -mm -mm -mm. maybe maybe it works what do you think as because it depends on as a message marketing communication message what do you think as if it's uh, relevant to your message um yeah it is relevant i just thought the world would you know mm -hmm. okay so it's more attractive but it, we can but always remove it yeah uh, an exclusive insight to digital marketing words we can add word because we have enough spaces uh, then get 20 percent discount open uh, online booking for example or book online or number one open get 20 percent discount Maybe book now, uh, or maybe book online now. Can it work? Mm -mm -mm. You can always get twenty percent off instead of discount. Yes, of course. Very good point. Yes, twenty percent off. Yes, book online now. Yeah, I think it's working now. Yes, yeah, very good. So, Sanita, the headline, yeah. the Martin course 2018. Okay, same as Asia. And yeah, very good. You already mentioned the brand name with talks, global certification. Maybe you can um, load the certification. Dash talks company, maybe. Okay. Looks like this one. So, what about the description? Uh, I'm still uh, working on that. It's okay, no problem. Very good. I think the most catchy things to the customer while navigating the ads on Google, especially, I think the numbers and the discounts. How discounted I gonna to get? while uh, registering online or uploading to the customer uh, uh, services or applying anything to this customer service or uh, any product i got to put it online from his online portal for example i think the most catching thing is the numbers the number of the year and the then the discount the percentage of the discount and also the mobile number which are the call to action which can help us to do something like that and also we can run on this test on the google please go to google while uh, Sanita finished her description, you can go to Google and type that digital marketing. Okay, um, um, diploma. Okay, so we have about four four ads. Okay, let me ask you a question. Which one, if you are, if you are looking for digital marketing diploma and you will find these four ads, which one will, will be more appealing to you and you're going to click on it first? Which one? Which one is sticky with the uh, regulations of how we are going to type an ad with Google and why? Out of the, out of the ads we see now, right? We see in front of us. Yeah, yeah, as we are, yeah, because yeah, I think okay. you have a different, uh, different um, search results on your Google because you're navigating from various countries. So mm -hmm. let's have a let's okay. nice online interface. Yeah, uh, until um, Sanita finished the description, which one you're gonna to choose and why? 
So we have these four ads. I like the second one. Me too, actually, yeah. I agree with Asia. So um, why Asia the second one? Why it is not the third one, for example, or the first one? Mm. Uh, the first one says study marketing in London. Yes, very good, excellent. I'm searching about digital marketing diploma. Yes, it's not relevant to my ad or searching term. Very good, excellent. Yeah, and then uh, the third one and the fourth one is a bit, mm, it's a bit hazy in comparison to the second. The second one has really strong words and is also pushing me to check out more because it's talking about skills, investing in myself. Um, mm -hmm. So is it, is it catching? Qualification, it's official and on. Yeah, yes, Asya. Is it catching for you to check free social media posts? Is not catch for you? It is, but then I wasn't really looking for social media. Yeah, exactly. You are looking for digital marketing, not only social media. So they really yeah. added a free, they added a free something that to catch your eyes, you know. But actually, it's not relevant to my searching keywords. Also, here maybe we have two competition between the second one and the third one. We have digital marketing. We have digital marketing. But here they didn't mention that they have have a diploma about digital marketing. They just mentioned the brand name, which is sas.com. They didn't mention that it is a course, it did a diploma, it did a certification, it did an online course. But also the adding here in business since 1976. That means that what's making you a unique on the business, you need what you already mentioned before. So let's going back to the second one. I think this, yes, exactly. This is the most proper one to search in that's relevant to my searching term. They already mentioned 2018, which is having the grabbing the attention of my eyes. Uh, official CIM qualification. I don't know what is the meaning of CIM. Perhaps it's certified internet marketing. Okay, because I already oriented with the digital business, but maybe ICI cannot understand what the meaning of CIM. Okay, so try to avoid something that is not familiar with the customer. Um, are you interested in studying diploma? This is a question which you already mentioned before on the text in digital marketing online. Start here, they're pushing the customer to take an action. Become remarkable, you will be worth more. Actually, all of these keywords are not um, <laughs> potential for me because many people mention the same ads. Uh, start end of this month, yes, call to action. I'm pushing you to take an action now. A uh, limited or urgency, as we mentioned here, we have a call, something to differentiate and create a sense of urgency. See the sense of urgency. This one start end of this month, so you don't have enough time, Maria, to to back up to book up to book with me. So you don't have enough time to send your money. Please hurry up because you have a patch. We'll start at the end of this month. Invest in yourself. Actually, it's cutting you to have so invest in yourself. How we can consider it or categorize it, this sentence here, open these points. Invest in yourself. Where I can, I'm including it here on these points. Under which point of these points? Uh. Invest in yourself. Mm -hmm. Where we can insight here on these points? Maybe it's <laughs> maybe it's too much actually. It's it's a bit too much yeah. impact. Yeah, I can consider it at the first point. First point, call to action. I'm calling you to invest in yourself. I'm calling you to pay money to invest in yourself. Maybe it can be the first one. The second one is not a unique value proposition of your course because you are not selling something that will help me to invest myself. But maybe from my perspective, I can consider it at the point number one. Or otherwise, you cannot consider it as no point here can be considered as invest in yourself it is not mentioned here 
But I think if we have something roughly, we can proceed at the first point, you know. So let's go back to uh, Sanita, uh, already shared with us the description. Here. Yes. All right. 20% discount and certification if you join the digital marketing course today. Yes, today it's like urgency. Yes, 20%. USP, yeah, very good, Sanita. And also, you can add more characters. You have missing about five characters. You can add your brand name. And there's, thank you, already mentioned here on the title. You already mentioned 2018, global certification. If you have a global certification, you don't need to repeat it again here. Okay? So you can avoid it, Sanita, in the future, you know? Thank you. Thank you, Sanita, for your help. Um, uh, what sorry, else? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes, I, I have a quick question. Uh, go, could you go back to the tab that says digital marketing diploma? This one? Yeah, so I noticed this second one has more characters than we're trying to yes, put now yes. the Edward. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm talking about it now, now, but you already have a rabbit question. Just wait, I got to explain it to you. Just give me enough time, okay? Please. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, I got to explain it to you in detail. We have two or three things that you're going to see it. Number one, ask you, what did these links mean? This called, do you need these links? It's actually, it's a like site links. You can add more links to the ad. You can add more links. For example, if I click on this ad, it will go to a certain landing page. Okay? But if I click on this links, so we go to another pages that is not relevant to this page, maybe, or going to another landing page. So now you can add also another links to the ad. This is called site links. Okay, site links. You can add more site links or more landing page that's relevant to this ad. This is number one. Number two, you can add something called ad description. Ad description, you have something called extension of the ad. This is a new feature. I'm going to show it now in the system. This is called an ad extension. You can add more descriptive keywords. Very good notice, I see. Very good. Now, it's not limited like this one. You know, this one is limited to 80 characters. So how can the second one have a lot of keywords? Because every keyword equal a new customer, as we agreed before. So this is a new ad extension called description or many other description of your ads. So you can have site links, you can add more descriptive contest. Also, we have something called call to action, but it's not appear here. Uh, it's only working on the mobile ad. You know, if you have this ad, you'll find something called call. Call Maybe, now. Yeah, call now. You find it's, it's like a button here, but it's not appear on the desktop. There's another ad extension. So how can I add all of these features, Maria? You can go to this tab, which is called extensions. Mm -hmm. Extensions. It's very important, Maria, especially for your current uh, running campaign. You, can, you have a lot of extensions. See? All of these type of extensions. Number one, get site link, which I already mentioned now. It's called a site link. See now, link directly. To, Sorry, what is a site link? Yes, this is a site link. This is if I gotta to click on this the blue. Ah, header, yes, yes, okay, mm -hmm. okay. Another, if I need to add Both. another okay. sub links, yes, you can add it here. So this is called site link. So you can create site link. What is site link, Sanita? Link directly to a specific pages of your website or your portal like store hours, products, any other services you are providing on the hotel and so on. When someone clicks or taps on your link, they skip right to the information they needed. So for example, for example, I'm looking for digital marketing diploma, okay? And I found that you have something called CIM certificate. Okay, so I can skip from this one and click on this one, or I'm looking for master of digital. So now, I was looking for diploma, but I found that you have a master in digital. So in this situation, master in digital is more um, uh, uh, relevant to my business or more relevant to what I'm looking for. So in this situation, I got to skip on the main header and I will click on the relevant link that I'm searching for. So this is called the site links. So um, 
what is the main advantages of having a site link to your ad? Number one, you can upselling your products. For example, I'm searching for milk, but I found that you have yogurt, you have uh, milk with chocolate, you have uh, chocolate, we have any other products. So it's calling upselling on your product. Number two, it's also branding that you have buyers of service and the products. Number three, it can increase the number of traffic of my website. For example, I got 100 click here, 50 click here, two clicks here, and so on. So you have a very, very wide range of clicks or website link or URLs that you're gonna generate more traffic through these URLs. Here's the first ad extension. And actually all of these extensions are very advanced because no people know understand that I can add more characters, add more site links, and so on. Feature number two, create call extension. As I told you before, you can see that you know this blue this blue color. You can mm -hmm. see the blue color. This is the header of the yes. ad. The green one is the link. Is the link. Okay. And the gray one is the description. See this description. So after adding the ad, I can find here the ad extension call now. You can find it on the Google Home smartphone or mobile. So what is the meaning of call extension? Make it easy for people to reach your business directly by adding the phone number to your ads. My question to you, my beautiful ladies, what is the main advantage of having call now button as an ad extension? It's easier for you and you don't have to search through the website to find contact us. It's like Maybe. more convenient, I guess. Maria, please, this ad value already mentioned here. <laughs> it's already oh, mentioned really? here. I didn't see another... that, sorry. Mm. <laughs> we need another thing, I, Maria. I stated the obvious, I guess, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we need another thing. Okay, you will let me uh, click on your ad and call you directly. Is there another yeah. advantage of using this feature as here, for example? Actually, I gonna to share with you a secret. When you someone searching about something and he call you directly, what is the main information that you get from your customer, even he gonna to buy your service or not? Um, his contact details. Of course. And what, this is one of the dangerous tactics. No one knows about it. Why? Because if I got 100 calls, actually, I got 100 contacts and 100 potential customers, even if they are going to buy my service or not. So this one or this feature is very dangerous. Why? Because if I click here from the desktop, for example, okay, I click on this ad. Be careful. I click on this ad and I opened a new website. Maybe this is a landing page. Okay, I'm navigating it. Okay, very good, very good. But then I'm not interested in your company or it is very, very expensive. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to exit. So, Maria, did you get my content? You didn't get my contacts anymore. But by clicking on the ad, I'm calling you so the customer service can automatically save my contacts. It's one of the dangerous points that you can add to your links. So you are building your own database, you are reaching your target audience, and also, as Maria mentioned before, it's more easier to the customer to reach you. What is the disadvantages of using this feature? Um, call you now. Uh, who's first? <laughs> you are talking at the same time. <laughs> ah, yeah, sorry. Yes, please talk. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, do you mean for the call now? Yes. Call extension. What is the disadvantage? Actually, we have many advantages of calling now extension, but I need to save time. So, what is the disadvantage of using this feature? Um you don't click on the website yes of course i i should use my smartphone i cannot find it on my desktop for example so we are targeting people who search it from smartphone only so we are mm. going to lose a wide range of people who are working from home working from their 
uh, offices, something like that, from laptops, and so on. Going back to the left side, you have call out extension. This is your question, Asia. You have a highlighted more characters that you can add to your information on the ad. For example, free delivery, 24 7 hours, membership deals. It's like uh, snippets of the main features that uh, differentiate your sellers or your brand among the other competitors. So this called call out extension. I can show it here. Maybe you can find it here. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Let me check. Yes, this one. Yes, this one. Central London campus, PAC accreditation, earn CPD points. This called call out. So you add more keywords like luxury, spa, swimming pool, 24 hours, uh, uh, 24 seven uh, hours of services, free delivery. You know, it's like uh, add value or unique propositions that you're adding as the keywords. It's, it's like that. It's not like a description, you know, it's not like a description. It's like a keywords, okay, or highlights. Is it okay with you? Just to highlight and promote special offers or special features in your service, like free shipping, seasonal sales, 24 hour customer support, and so on and so on. This is called a call out. Okay. And this is another technique. How is the customer gonna to see it? It's like that. Many keywords separated by dots. Okay. Actually, we can categorize these points under how you can differentiate yourself on the market. Maybe. Uh, Sanita is looking for more features by traveling to India. She is working for a hotel in India. So she is look, working or looking for luxury hotel, but also the luxury hotel already mentioned what other options that we have, what the other features that we have in our hotel. So how can we use this option in your advertising agencies? If you have an advertising agency ad, this ad is talking about your advertising agencies. What you are going to type on this call out? What is the main call out keywords that you are going to type? <clears throat> For example, you already uh, um, have one of your agencies has a digital marketing service, okay? And then type that digital marketing company, you know, man. And I found your ad, okay? What is the main other call out extension that you're gonna to add? Maybe contact us, which will take us, which will take the person to the contact page. No, 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 no. I'm talking about the call out extension. This, this option, I see. Yeah. This option. I'm searching about digital marketing services uh, or digital marketing company, no man. And I found your ad. This is your ad. Okay. What you're gonna to add here as a call out extension? This one. What you are going to add here, Maria? Call out extension. We need just four keywords. Something about certification? No, no, no. I'm talking about you are providing digital marketing services. You're already providing this service or social media management in your company. That's right. So I'm tired. I'm tired with social media management company in Oman. And I found your ad. This is your uh, ad. Okay. What did the other call out extensions that you gonna to add here? Uh, Just four keywords. Think about it and share it with me. Like just twenty percent discount, things like that. Okay, just just think about it. I just need I need four keywords as a call out extension to be replaced with these keywords. I already searching for digital marketing. Company, here we go. Company in Doha. Enter. I found this ad, and I need to add more call outs. Four call outs here. No one adding here. Here, maybe on the front. Yes, we have here. Yeah, they already added in this ad. They have call outs. See, in business analytics, intelligence. And this is the site links, as we mentioned. So I need to add just four keywords and the call outs. What will be your call outs?
Maria, uh, did you add any of these extension features on your running campaign? No. no okay. I haven't. Yeah. Try to run another campaign or edit the current one to add more extension. Because all of this extension, is, it will not charge you any more. Okay. It's for free. You can add it, but it will give you more features. Okay. So try to add you know, these features, especially site links and the description. It's very, very important. And also by calling us now, it will generate more leads to your company. You have a huge number of calls or database. So it's very important. So going back to create called out extension, what would be the four keywords that you need to add? Just type on the chat, share it with me, please. But I need something that's relevant to my searching term. I'm sourcing for digital marketing company in Doha. So please add some call out extension that's relevant to the search and keywords. Because someone can tell me that, okay, Ahmed, I'm going to add PR services or I'm going to add marketing solution. No, it's not relevant to my searchable keywords. I'm searching for someone to manage my digital media platforms. Be careful. Mm. Mm. Yes. <laughs> Is it possible to? Oh no, never mind. Take your time. Think about it. Maria, good morning. Good morning to you too. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Maria. Wake up, wake up. Just 10 minutes and we will leave. <laughs> I'll let you sleep, okay? Just 10 minutes. <laughs> I already sent something. I don't know if it's correct, but. All right. Okay. Asia? No. Yeah. Yeah, you said something like about works, contact us, careers, is that right? Um, no, that's before, before you said what you said, so ignore it. Okay, okay. Uh, Maria, special offers, book your seminar now, best deal in Qatar. Um, okay, special offers, book your seminar now, best deal in Qatar. Mm -hmm. But I'm I'm searching for a digital marketing company. Yes. Okay. No. But this this is the the text we put below the ad, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's called ad. It's like three characters or three keywords okay. that's relevant to our ad. I'll show you this one. See, this one. Central London, BAC accreditation, Earth CBD points. So if I add your keywords, which you already mentioned before with me, it is not relevant to digital marketing company. I'm saying for digital marketing company, company, okay? Company in Doha or in Qatar. So special offers, okay, can be valid, but seminar, best mm. deal in Qatar, it's not appealing, you know, because many people type the first one, the biggest one, the best deal, the best offer. I see this ad a lot of million of time per day. I see I need something that's catching. <clears throat> uh, 
and also to, I need to upselling my services because I'm searching for digital marketing company. Do you have any relevant services that can be mentioned on the call out extension, for example? So let me ask you a question to make it more easier and save time. Uh, what is the type of the customer that type on Google or Bank, digital marketing company? What is this customer looking for? Digital marketing company. What is looking for? Mm, I have digital marketing solutions, social media marketing services. Yes, very good, excellent. What else? Also, manage your online sales also increase your e-sales once someone looking for digital marketing company is someone to manage his social media or to um, have the solutions about email shots for example or to run an online campaigns so you can mention some the de detailed services under the digital marketing umbrella this number one number two also we can add some services that's relevant to digital marketing for example digital customer service e customer service increasing your e sales for volume you know so try to add something that's relevant to the digital services also integrate with your offline activities manage your social media running online campaigns be on the google first result so you have detailed services I was searching about digital marketing company just to manage my social media, but I found that you have a lot of services. For example, if you have a digital marketing company and you have four ads, okay, you already have four ads. One of these ads, I found that develop digital marketing email shots, manage your social media existence, and many other things. Sending email shots, manage social media, um, what else? Posting on the forums and blogs managing your e-sales campaign and so on and so on so i found that you have a lot of other services so this will grab my attention to click on your ad because you are not mentioning just digital marketing you have many other services that i can mention okay this is a point how we can add more call to out actions here as an extension of the ad is it clear for you is it clear yeah. Yes, it's clear. Okay, very good. Going to another part. Creating an extension here. All of this can be another extensions, but it's not mentioned here. Site link extension, we already talked about it. Call out extension. So action snippet. What's the meaning of snippet? Snippets like a keywords that many keywords, it's like call to action, you know. Snippets, call extension, calling from the mobile. Message extension, someone can send you a direct message from your ad. And actually, not many people uh, see this type of ads. I can send you a type of message directly. Location extension, I can add the location of that. Sometimes it can be here on Doha, for example, uh, where is this hotel located, and so on. Okay. What is snippets again? Yes, David, I'm going to show it to you now. Just a minute. I will show you an example. Hotel in Dubai. Uh, let me check. This can be snippet. See? It's like snippet. Keywords. Dubai, Mecca, Salala, Medina, Istanbul, Doha, Kuwait. It's like snippet. It's like a keywords. That's just like this one. Wi-Fi, breakfast, pool, gym, spa, parking, message. Massage, so this can be a snippet, it's like a keywords that can be added to the ad. You know, this is called a snippet. Okay, but the call to a call extension can be a sentence or phrase or something like that. Okay, this is called a snippet. And here, this is extension highlights specific aspects of your product or service. For example, your hotel uh, is 24 7 
uh, for example, uh, 24 7 customer service. Uh, or you can add many other things like uh, spa, massage, swimming pool. These are specific aspects of your product or service. But call out extension, you can add anything, any descriptions that you can add. Maybe it's not relevant to the product. You can add anything that's extension to your ad. Do you, do you get my point? So this is the difference between snippets, something that's relevant to the products, and the call out extension is show descriptive text. Okay? Call extension, which we already mentioned before. Did, did you get the mention or did you know the difference between call out extension and structured snippet? Mm, no. No. Again. Structure snippet extension is something that's relevant to aspects of your product. For example, you have an hotel, Maria. Okay, you have an hotel, mm -hmm. Maria. And this hotel has massage, has spa, has 24-7 support, and so on and so on. So this is will be written as it is, massage, spa, swimming pool. This is something that's relevant to the hotel or the product, which is the hotel. But call out extension, show descriptive text. For example, uh, we are the only hotel in London, the first hotel in London. So you can add something that creative is not, not relevant to the product itself, not relevant to the features of the product. It's not like a feature, but you can mm -hmm. add it as an add value information. Okay, you can okay. add it as it is. For example, here he showed you an example of free shipping. Free shipping. Free shipping is not a feature of your product. For example, uh, you have uh, digital marketing uh, services. You are not having a free shipping as a feature inside the digital marketing, but you can have a free shipping. You can pay online. So it's not a feature in the product itself. I can get the product from your store or I can download it online. Okay, this is called a call out extension, but snippet extension, it should be a specific feature inside your product. Okay. Is okay. it clear now, Asia and Sanita? Yeah. Okay. So um, next week we're gonna to discuss the rest of these site extensions about the location, the affiliate price extension, app extension, promotion extension. So we have a lot of extensions that you can add. But unfortunately, if you have the old interface of the Google AdWords, you will not find all of this extension unless you run a, a, a campaign or something that's running. You can add more extensions on these running campaigns. Or if you have the old interface of Google AdWords, then you can use all of these ad extensions. Okay? So do you have any question about this uh, ad extensions? Actually, it's something more advanced. And my advice to you, Maria, try to add some extensions to your current uh, running campaign. Can okay. I ask, like, how do I do that? If I'm already running ads, I can edit, but where exactly? Because I don't want to mess up my campaign now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You go to campaign, click on the okay. campaign. You'll find a, okay. a column called overview ad groups. You will go to add an extension, okay. click an okay. add extension, click on the plus, the plus button, ah, add. Okay. You'll find a lot of extension. Of the ad or something and then you go to extension this one the another tab extensions here going down create ad extension okay just try to do it if you didn't okay. fix it just send me an email and just share with me the screenshot of your current interface and i will tell you how to trace it and track it okay okay thank you thank you very much you're welcome maria okay uh do you have any question asia and sanita not at the moment, thank you. Oh, you are welcome. Thank you. See you next week. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.